This is a lecture from Open Tuition. To benefit from the lecture, you should download the free lecture notes from OpenTuition.com. If we now go through and complete our working capital management by just going through and looking at payables, remember a payable arises if we have a credit purchase. The credit purchase that we have made will then need to be paid within a specified period of time. And what happens there, however, is that if we delay our payment, uh, we have a bit of a disadvantage, don't we, in that we could lose our credit status and our credit worthiness with our supplier. But what we've got there as well to consider is if we delay payment, then we have that cash within our business for an extra period of time. We can therefore use that cash elsewhere. And if we have additional cash in the business, we no longer have to borrow funds, do we, to, to fund that short term cash deficit. So what we can go through and do is we can begin to look similarly to what we saw with regard to our receivables. We can start to go through there, can't we, and look at settlement discounts and see whether or not we should or shouldn't take account or take advantage of any settlement discounts and look at the cost of not accepting but the cost of refusing that settlement discount. Okay. So if we go through there and have a look at the first example, similar to what we saw when we looked at our receivables, uh, it says calculate the annual percentage effective cost of refusing the discount. So if we don't take up the discount, what is that going to go through there and cost us? Okay. Uh, so it says that, a supplier offers a 2% discount if invoices are paid within 10 days of receipt. And currently we take 30 days uh, to pay the invoices and take no discount whatsoever. So what's happening there is that we are reducing it, isn't it, by a 20 day period. So what you could go through and do, remember that formula that we spoke about earlier? Was it the 100 over 100 less the discount? multiplied by 365 over t subtract 1 and then multiply it by 100% and you remember that formula whereby d was the discount uh, t was the reduction in the number of days well here we have is it 100 uh, the discount is 2% so is it 100 less the 2 over the 365 divided by is it 20 Subtract 1. Okay, tap that into your calculator. I think it gives you 0 0.4458, which is the equivalent of 44.58%. Okay. Uh, so the effective cost of refusing that discount to the company is 44.58%. But that's just the effective cost. It doesn't tell us or give us any extra information within the question to, to determine whether or not we should refuse that discount or, or take advantage of it. And what we would need to go through and do there is we would need to go through there and compare that to the cost of borrowing. OK, uh, if we can go through there and compare that to the cost of borrowing, uh, if the effective annual cost of, of taking the discount is cheaper than the cost of borrowing, uh, then we would go through there and take that discount, wouldn't we? As soon as the, the cost of the discount is more expensive than the borrowing, then it's not worth paying off the money quicker and borrowing it instead. Uh, we should go through there, shouldn't we? And refuse the discount. So, so that's what then goes through, if memory serves me right, and happens within the next example, okay? Uh, it says here, should the company pay sooner in order to take advantage of the discount? Well, what you've got there is it says that the company pays overdraft interest of 13%. So what we could potentially go through and do is we could pay the invoice quicker by taking advantage of the discount. And then we need to work out the cost of doing that compared to that 13%. If it is cheaper to take the discount, uh, then by all means take the discount if it is less than that 13%. But as soon as it's greater than 13%, we may as well go through there and not pay the cash, uh, keep the cash within the business. If any extra cash is needed, borrow it at the cheaper borrowing rate as opposed to taking the more expensive cash.
cash discount. Okay, so what we've got that uh, we need to work out the percentage. We need to work out the effective annual percentage, don't we, on that discount? So again, it says a company currently takes 40 days credit from our supplier, uh, and it will go down there. Is it to 15 days? Okay. Uh, and we have is it there a one and a half percent discount so it's a one and a half percent discount uh, we're going is it from 40 days to 15 days so what you've got there is that is a reduction is that the of 25 days isn't it so what we could go through there and look at in this instance uh, it will be, is it 100 over, is it 100 less the 1.5 to the power of 365 divided by, is it the 25, subtract 1. Okay. Again, on my calculator, uh, 100 less the 1.5, that's 98.5. So 100 divided by 98.5 to the power of 365 divided by 25 subtract 1 the annualized cost uh, 0.2469 which is the equivalent of 24.7% okay uh, so 24.7% versus is it the 13 percent it is cheaper isn't it with the overdraft than with the discount so i would not go through there and pay any sooner okay there we have it uh, that's it for now uh, i think there's a little bit of extra stuff for you to go through and read in your own time discussing over trading i'm not going to go through and spend any of our time working our way through that there's no numerical example to consider it's just purely book work so if you do get stuck feel free to ask me on the forum but other than that that's it from this overall part of the syllabus to do with your working capital management